Zeku, the former 38th Grand Master of the School of Bushin Reunion Jutsu. This make-believe style dates back to Final Fight, where it was used by Guy. What separates him from other ninjas is that he has the ability to transform into his younger self, which gives him an entirely different moveset. By combining Zeku's old form, which is focused on space control, and Zeku's young form, which is focused on close-range pressure, you have a very tricky opponent. Having two forms means there's a lot of normals to memorize. One great normal that old Zeku has is his crouching medium punch. This is a strong and frustratingly safe poke to use in the mid-range, and it's a great attack to use when old Zeku has established a lead. When it comes to pressuring the opponent, young Zeku's crouching medium punch is also highly effective. Crouching medium punch is one of the main pressure tools for Zeku altogether, as it keeps him pretty close to the opponent. Not only can he strike fear into the opponent, but it's also great at punishing moves that are misspaced. The follow-ups aren't huge in this regard, but the combination of decent range and speed more than makes up for its limited combo potential. These are just two examples of the many outstanding normals that Zeku has. Switching back to old Zeku, one fundamental special that's used is his Bushin Gram. Gram Koku is a long-range special, which range depends on the button strength used. This is an unorthodox but useful poking tool that can also be used in a similar fashion to a traditional fireball. One thing to note is that if the physical attack from the Koku hits the opponent, then it'll cause a knockdown and inflict its maximum damage. However, if the shockwave-like effect from the Koku hits the opponent, then it'll do slightly less damage and leave the opponent standing. Using Gram Koku sparingly and spacing it correctly will cause any opponent's problems. Both of Zeku's V-Skills assist him in different ways. His V-Skill 1, Fukuro, strikes the opponent with a physical attack, which automatically changes his form from old to young, and vice versa. Fukuro is mainly used to help in combos and give him the positional advantage via a side switch. His V-Skill 2, Kuchiyose, works much differently. Zeku is able to call forth one of two animals. Old Zeku summons a bird that carries firecrackers. The bird will drop the explosives in different areas, depending on the directional inputs used. With Kuchiyose, young Zeku summons a ferret that runs towards the opponent and once in proximity does a lunging kick. V-Skill 2 allows Zeku to transform safely depending on the situation. From new combos to really potent mix-ups, Kuchiyose brings a new dynamic to Zeku's gameplay. A V-Trigger that changed dramatically over the years is Zeku's V-Trigger 2, Karura Tenzan. Karura Tenzan is an anti-air attack that can be done by itself or cancelled into from special attacks, and upon succession, transforms Zeku into his other form, in which he can get a small follow-up if he has meter. Similar to V-Skill 1, VT2 allows Zeku to switch sides if need be, which is super important in terms of positional advantage. If Karura Tenzan misses, then Zeku will become severely punishable and stay in his current form, so Zeku needs to ensure that VT2 connects properly. Zeku has one of the largest movesets in the game, which is interesting but also very daunting. Players will need to study as many intricacies as possible whilst also learning matchups for both forms. Zeku is a strong and entertaining character, so if you like ninjas and characters with multiple styles, then pick Zeku and show people that with age comes experience. Sakura Kasugano a Japanese girl with huge admiration for Ryu. Sakura joined Street Fighter V as the first character of the third season of DLC. Her fighting style is an imitation of Ryu's, which leads to her having a strange take on the Shotokan fighting style. Sakura's moveset comprises of many unconventional variants of existing Shotokan moves. In Street Fighter V, most of Sakura's moveset is similar to her Street Fighter IV iteration, with a few new tweaks to further cement her style and show that this Tokyo native is a force to be reckoned with. Fundamentally speaking, Sakura has some terrific kick normals in her toolkit. Her standing light kick is a fast, long-reaching normal that's said to be one of the best light attacks in Street Fighter V. One reason being is that it's safe to throw out, making it difficult to counter. Standing Light Kick can also cancel into specials, making it an excellent punishing tool. Sakura can safely counter a lot of moves in Street Fighter V that most characters struggle to deal with. Another normal that can cause issues is Sakura's Standing Heavy Kick. This is Sakura's farthest reaching normal, and is a dangerous poke which can crush counter. 
This attack forces the opponent to play outside their ideal range, which allows Sakura to walk into her range and utilize other normals. If standing heavy kick crush counters, then Sakura can dash in and get a small follow-up. When it comes to projectiles that have variants, Sakura's Hadoken is the perfect example. The difference between this Hadoken and Ryu's is that Ryu's projectile speed changes depending on the button strength, whereas Sakura's overall travel distance changes, with the heavy version traveling the furthest. To make the Hadoken more powerful, Sakura has the option to charge it with no special requirements, which not only sends the fireball full screen, but it does more damage and causes a knockdown. Sakura can also immediately go into one of her V-Skills from the charged Hadoken if she wants to close the distance and apply some pressure. Despite the benefits, Hadokens can be countered via anti-projectile tools, and if Sakura charges at the wrong time, then she'll be left vulnerable for an even bigger punish. One move that greatly improved Sakura's combo potential is her V-Skill 2, Haru Hayate. This has two parts. In the first part, Sakura rolls towards the opponent, closing some distance. The second part is the Haru Hayate attack, where Sakura lunges at the opponent with a flying knee, which puts them in a juggle state. Haru Hayate increases the threat level of moves like Standing Heavy Punch and Crush Counter Standing Heavy Kick due to how good its corner carry is, which is a huge plus in a game like Street Fighter V. Haru Hayate can also catch certain long-range attacks, which is useful if Sakura is struggling in the neutral and needs a way in. This is the go-to V skill 2 for Sakura. The go-to V-Trigger pick for Sakura is her V-Trigger 1, Haru Arashi. Haru Arashi amplifies Sakura's regular Hadoken and Tengyo Hadoken, making them function similarly to the EX versions. The V-Trigger 1 always gives Sakura access to a new move called Hogasho, a prevalent combo starter and pressure tool. Combining Hogasho with the boosted projectiles helps strengthen Sakura's overall pressure game and gives her fun combos, especially in the corner. This is the safer and more consistent V-Trigger from her two choices. Sakura is a well-rounded character. She has one of the best walk speeds in the game and a fundamentally strong toolkit to use. Unfortunately, Sakura became an average character due to many other characters having a similar game plan to hers, except they offer a better reward in terms of damage output and neutral tools, which gives players no real incentive to choose her. However, if you like training and characters with a solid foundation, then pick Sakura and prove to people that she's not your average girl. Blanca, or Jimmy, the wild beast who hails from the Brazilian jungle with the power to generate electricity. Blanca is one of the original world warriors and has been in almost every Street Fighter game. His fighting style is about combining erratic movement with surprise attacks, making things difficult for the opponent. In Street Fighter V, Blanca still follows the philosophy of being unpredictable and still retains most of his moves from previous games. And with the help of the V system, Blanca can show opponents the true power of the wild. Despite his bestial characteristics, Blanca actually has a great set of normals. His crouching heavy punch is a poking tool that's slow but covers decent ground. This is a great normal to use sparingly due to how annoying it is to counter. Even when the opponent might be expecting it, it can be hard to catch. Crouching heavy punch can also land as a crush counter to score Blanca a knockdown and start some offense. Another normal that's brilliant but in a different aspect is Blanca's crouching medium punch. This move's primary objective is to thwart jump attacks, and is an anti-air that protects a large portion of Blanca's body, making this a great tool for discouraging opponents who are jump heavy. Crouching Medium Punch is also special cancelable, so it can also assist him offensively. One of the most annoyingly good specials in Street Fighter V is Blanca's light rolling attack. This can be viewed as a poking tool in the form of a special, which is also great as a knowledge check. Multiple characters struggle to punish this move on block, which works to Blanca's advantage. Blanca can also throw off the opponents by spacing the rolling attack so that he lands just in front of them, then start his offensive. But if the opponent is ready to stop it, then Blanca will have to rethink his approach. An option that helps Blanca control the neutral is his V-Skill 2, Shout of Earth. This is an electrical ground pound which has two levels. Level 1 is the slower and weaker option as it barely rewards Blanca and leaves him quite vulnerable. Level 2 takes incredibly longer to start up but gives Blanca a better reward by allowing him to combo afterwards. Since level 2 takes a while to activate, 
Blanc has the option of storing the V-Skill 2 and using it at a later point, where it will come out instantly and gives him the same reward as charging the level 2. There's a visual indication showing when it's stored. The instant V-Skill 2 can help out both offensively and defensively, making it a pretty versatile tool. One of Blanca's main comeback tools is his V-Trigger 2, Lightning Beast. This gives Blanca access to a new move called Rolling Cannon, which can be cancelled into from any of his rolling attack specials. Rolling Cannon allows Blanca to get damage extensions in situations where he normally cannot, and go for disgusting mix-ups almost anywhere on screen, which accentuates his attributes as a problematic character. Blanca can pilot the Rolling Cannon in any direction, so even if Blanca tries to take a risk with any version of Rolling Attack, the V-Trigger 2 will make him safe from punishment. There are ways to mitigate the reward this V-Trigger gives, but the opponent has to be ready. Blanca is notorious for being extremely disliked by a lot of players, but one of his strengths is using the opponent's unfamiliarity to his advantage. He has the option of playing safe, but he gets more mileage for taking a more unpredictable approach. However, if the opponent can quell Blanca's craziness, then things can become difficult. If you like unorthodox characters who can also pay your electricity bill, then pick Blanca and feel that electrical surge. Thank you for watching. These character overviews are made possible by our generous patrons. For $1 a month, you can help support projects like this and also get bonuses like early access to videos and your name listed here. Up next is Falk, Cody, and Gene.